Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Some Talented People with another social Me Too recording. We're joined uh, this time by Olivia, who's in our South Africa region and started our South African group, and Anusia, who has been a long-time advocate, supporter, and promoter of our cause. And Gregory is with me as well. So let me show you the gang. Hey, wave gang. Woo! Yeah. Hello. Not do you left? Not yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, basically, this has moved on, and I, I want to tell you where I am, and then we'll get some perspectives because I'm trying to push this forward, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, it's a learning process. So, basically, what I've done in the last three weeks if you've been watching the chat i did put um it in there but i've had a press release written to apply to bbc radio bbc breakfast television some of these shows because certainly in the uk at the moment uh, there's a lot of emphasis on this because an mp a parliamentary parliament member was murdered a couple of weeks ago and the social media came into the conversation to the extent that our home secretary s proposed a law to make anonymity on the internet or on social media illegal hmm. so hmm. when That's one of yeah when one of their own dies they can make laws as quick as they like but the thousands, the millions of women and men who are suffering abuse and scamming, people are not interested. In the post I did today, I said they go, always, when a woman complains or a man complains, they go, it's not yeah, uh, outside our terms and conditions. And so, you know, you're getting automated responses that don't take your uh, perspectives into account. Uh, and I'd like to know, I think Olivia, as our um, newest uh, member, I'd like to get your perspectives on, on that. And then we'll talk about your experiences with unwanted behavior, if that's okay. Sure, no problem, Jonathan. So with regard to the whole thing where they want to actually abolish anonymity concerning social media, mm. it actually might be a good thing um, because there's a lot of people hiding behind making up certain profiles, for example, mm -hmm. and they actually do a lot of bullying on social media and, for example, stalking on social media. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, if you don't pay attention to them and they are actually trying to get your attention mm -hmm. and or you want to say, no, I'm not interested, for example, in a specific thing, um, or they don't get that you're married or you're in a relationship, for example, and they just don't want to stop. So they will create different kinds of profiles, for example, even on different social media platforms and try to invite you in different ways as well. So they will also pretend to be, for example, if it's a guy, he will mm. pretend to be a female to try to befriend you again on a diff in a different way right. and gain your trust in that way. And then it actually comes out in the end that it's actually that same person. What, what in your experience has been the, um, the motivation there? Were they trying to, to scam you or fraud, fraud? It's mostly guys that are either trying to scam you, like, for example, for money, like... Um, they would ask, for example, after trying to be your friend or mm. trying to be more than a friend, like, oh, they are actually very intense, for example, like trying to get sexual favors for money, for example. Yeah, it happens. Um, for example, on Facebook, um, this one guy tried that whole thing. I said, I'll give you 10,000 rand if you sleep with me, for example. Wow. Those, yeah, it happens. 
um it happened on linkedin as well like this guy was like no i'll fly you over to canada blah 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 um if you like come sleep with me and have this relationship with me but it's all about like and i'm like this is not the platform for what i'm here for um so they are the oddest people and yeah. it's like really intense because i'm thinking what did i do to actually solicit this behavior but there's nothing that i've said or done it's mm -hmm. been totally professional like hi how are you how is your day just answering them basically and then it gets all of a sudden the topic just changes into like oh, do you want to sleep with me blah 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 and then i'm like no oh no where did this come from because i'm reading the conversation back again and i'm thinking no but there's nothing i said or did to actually warrant this behavior from this person it's interesting because that is so this is something that we realized quite early on do you yeah. want to comment on this here yeah uh, please uh, these these are the things uh, you can see it happen and the way olivia was mentioning it is i think it's called like a honey trap there's a concept okay. Yeah, honey trap, you know, they try to uh, manipulate things because they actually, it's kind of extortion. They mm -hmm. want to extort, yeah. So it's for the fraud, of... I can get that. But these guys that are saying, I want to fly, fly you out here or sleep with you for money, what the hell is going on there? It's very um, troublesome. Yeah. Mm. So this leads in actually to one of the things that I, I think that this movement can do. So I'm gonna do a quick piece to camera. So you've listened to these story from Olivia and from Anusia. And if you're a woman watching this video, I don't think that social me too is going to change men. But if you heard the questions that Olivia asked of herself, that is what's happening to millions of women everywhere. Because this thing is arriving in your hand, in your home, it is intimate, it is close. And so the first thing you do when a conversation turns sexual or scamming is you ask yourself, what have I done? And if we do nothing else with social me too, I want to communicate that you have done nothing. Okay, so team, gallery. Talk to me.